Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso right here on SABC3. Now, here's one for the kids who don't seem to fit the traditional mode. At school, Jean-Marc Johannes felt like the odd one out when it came to sport. He tried literally everything, but he just couldn't cut it. So as a result, he found himself demotivated and then saw children on skateboards. Tried it, failed the first time, but got back on. And in 2019, he's at the top of his game, enjoying the freedom of a sport and holding a Guinness World Record for it. Have a look. Jean-Marc Johannes continues to break records. He's broken two of his own Guinness World Records as being able to do some incredible nolly heel flips in under one minute. Let's check him out. The kid from Penland Estate has become a World Series gold medalist, made the top three of last year's Pro Jam International in Indonesia, and it's also won him the prestigious Cape Town Chairman's Award. John Mark, a nolly flip champion. I need you to tell us what a nolly flip is, number one, but also I want you to show us. So, nolly heel flip is when you kick out that way, making this board spin one rotation over uh -huh. and landing back on. Okay, show me. Perfect. Okay. So as a professional skateboarder, how often do you need to keep yourself training and coming to this space and doing this? As often as possible. Uh, my training in skateboarding, you know, it's very specific to, let's say, for example, if there's a contest, I always practice, you know, a month or a few weeks before the contest as well. But on a daily basis, you know, I make it part of my routine to skate every day for at least two hours. Things are heating up fast ahead of World Cup skateboarding this June, after which competition moves to Paris and then it's into the business end with the Olympic qualifiers. Jean-Marc, you've had such an impressive career, starting at 28 years old. You started this when you were nine years old out in the Cape Flats. What ignited your passion and love for skateboarding and how did you grow it? For me as a skateboarder, you know, starting out in Athlone, and the one thing that kept me coming back to the sport and kept me pursuing, you know, my long-term and short-term goals was, you know, seeing skateboarding on an international level and just seeing what is possible and what is, you know, uh, possible on a skateboard competitively and just as an athlete. And it comes from watching, you know, other skateboarders, you know, some of my role models and other athletes from South Africa, you know, pursue Olympic gold and, you know, just pursue their sports, you know, coming from Cape Town as well. You know, there's a lot of things that adds to, you know, my passion for the sport and my passion for being an athlete, definitely. You've broken the Guinness World Record, not once, but twice. What prompted you to get into this? What was the driver and the motivation behind all of this? The initial motivation for breaking the Guinness World Record for the most gnarly heel flips was something that, you know, came knocking at the door more times then I can count and you know when it, the opportunity came around again in 2017 I pursued it you know Nolly Hill Flip was one of those tricks that I knew I, I could do consistently and thankfully I broke it the first time the second time was I would say personal achievement the idea of pushing myself as a skateboarder was something that I always look for in any situation and you know when I thought about it, I thought, you know, I can, I can do more. The one thing that makes skateboarding very impactful towards my life and career, you know, it's that motivated mindset, the, you know, the idea of, you know, falling and getting back up. It's the qualities of skateboarding that I kind of take into the rest of my career and obviously into any aspect of skateboarding for that matter. From winning his first competition aged 11 to being our first ever international gold, silver and bronze medal winner to turning professional, the man is going his own way and bringing us glory in the process. John Mark's accomplishments are worthy of envy and so too are his works of charity. Now South Africa will be rooting for him and will be glued to our screens when the Olympics come. But for now I'm going to make sure that uh, I'm not going to leave this place without you having taught me a few tricks. Yes. You're down. Let's go. Let's go.